few fun and hopefully productive days. I know everyone wants to know, what am I doing with my life? Hi, good morning. Sorry if I look a little foul. I literally just woke up. I wanted to start this vlog here because this is my last week of living in downtown LA. If you've kept up with my moving vlogs, you know that we're gonna be moving from downtown LA to the west side over by the beach. I wanted to capture the last few moments here and hopefully we'll have some fun, productive days. If you're new here, my name is Marcella. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I think this morning, I'm just gonna start the day with a stretch session at the gym. Other than the 10 minute walk I did on the treadmill this morning, I've just been sitting here all day. I was editing a video and it just went up. I am gonna go try to move my body a little bit. I figured it's like 86 degrees, kind of wanted to go for a swim. I also figured before I swim, I may as well go work out a little bit beforehand. Yeah, that's what we're gonna go do now. I'll talk to you guys later. <laughs> swimming. Oh, it's kind of loud. I am reading this book. It's a really good book. I've actually already read it in English, but three years ago at the Tirana airport, I picked this up because it is translated into Albanian. Three years, it's just sat on my bookshelf, but I've actually started reading it. I've realized how terrible I am at reading. It takes me forever. back up from the pool and I think I'm gonna make a nectarine cobbler no nectarine crisp I'm following a peach crisp recipe but I just got nectarines I'm just gonna make two individual ones I've got to find the little ceramic oh no I think they might be in my storage unit decided to just go ahead and make this. I think I'm gonna bake it in a pan. I highly recommend you get those little ceramic baking dishes and make individual portions. It's really cute that you can just like top it up with a, a scoop of ice cream and it's like a cute dessert. It's so easy and so cinnamony and so yummy. It's made with very common ingredients. So I usually have all the ingredients required in the recipe. And honestly, you just kind of throw everything together. It also works really well with apples, especially now that fall is here. Like this is the dessert. This is my go-to dessert. to hop into a meeting for the first time in like three months or something. Hi. Yeah, yeah, perfect. 
I just finished the talk with the recruiter. I'll talk to you guys about that in a little bit, but for right now, I'm on the hunt for poppy seed muffins. The other day it came out that I actually have never had like a lemon poppy seed muffin before. So he was trying to get one for me to try. So he went to like four or five different places, only Ralph's had them. But then when he went to check out, Ralph's didn't accept Apple Pay and he had left his wallet at home. So after an hour of searching for poppy seed muffins, he came home empty handed. So I figured I need a walk anyway. So we're walking over to Ralph's, get some muffins, maybe go get some coffee later. Got the goods. One muffin is 500 calories. Holy, 500 calories? What? It's actually pretty good, but goddamn, 500 calories. Mm. Can't imagine like eating this as a breakfast item. It's crazy. I figured I talked to you guys about career. What am I doing with my life? I know everyone wants to know. Just kidding, it's mainly my dad that wants to know. This morning, I had that chat with the recruiter fella. He's a recruiter at Greylock. Greylock is a venture capital firm. But what he does there is he helps their portfolio companies hire people. So he was telling me a little bit about their series A companies that are looking for engineers. And I was telling him about my background and what I'm looking for, seeing if any, if there's a potential match there. It was actually really nice. And the only like quirk is that if I'm going to join a startup, I ideally would like it to be in person. I know a thing of the past, but in person and in LA, but they actually had no portfolio companies that were LA based. He told me about a few companies they had that are like remote first. They all sounded really cool so I'll look into them and then we'll see if there's any like follow-up there. My current plan is that I will give myself at least two or three months to work on some side projects. You know, I feel like just building something, even if it isn't necessarily like the next thing that I try to make into like a full run business, but I have a few ideas for a few small little apps that can live out there. So I kind of want to just build some stuff for the next couple months. Might change depending on if I feel like I need money or not. <laughs> but that's where I'm at right now. Works of being fun employed, mainly just that I'm not used to like not having money coming in. It's a mental thing I feel like because I have enough savings to support myself. Really weird to like watch your savings go down. I'm not used to that going down. So it is like a weird mental thing as like a person who is very like financially, I don't know, I, w I don't wanna say anxious, but I don't know, like I feel like I've always been conscious of money and just thinking of like the opportunity cost of not having a software engineering job. It gets a little stressful sometimes, but let's just hope that it's all okay. You just gotta believe in myself and it's like a new, unknown kind of territory. So I definitely needed this to like step out of my comfort zone and figure out what I wanna do rather than saying I wanna do things, just like actually do them. But there's still some quirks. It's not like, oh, I'm just not working. So yeah. <laughs> My boyfriend loves to whistle by these noise canceling headphones or a must. The Sony. All right, I'm gonna put these in. TTYL, you guys. <laughs> finished watching the movie my emotions were like this 
the whole time. Such a good movie though. You need to watch it if you haven't already. <laughs> okay, we gotta go because it's like 12.30 now. This place is closed. TTYL.